So in the Quran, it says um, uh, in, in uh, Surah 69, 44 through 46, it says, And if Muhammad had made up us, had made up about us some false saying, we would have seized him by the right hand. Then we would have cut from him the aorta. Right? And the aorta is the, the jugular vein that goes to the heart and pumps blood through the rest of the body. Right? And then when we read the hadith, it is a different word in Arabic, you're right, but it says this, it is still translated aorta. It says, um, look, so Sahih Bukhari, yeah. Sayyid Bukhari uh, 559713 says the prophet in his ailment in which he died used to say, O oh, Aisha, I still feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Kaaba, and at this time I feel as if my aorta is being cut from that poison. Yeah. And the way poison works is that it, it actually cuts into the vein. Uh, and uh, and it begins to have internal bleeding. That's why. Which poison is that? Uh, so, well, many poisons. So I, I just. It's not the same for all the poisons. There are different yeah. kinds of poisons. They I work think, in different I think ways. If it's going to be tearing the aorta, cutting the aorta, right? That's that's how. Yeah, but works. but like you correctly said, the hadith doesn't mention the term aorta in Arabic, so it's not it's not translated as aorta. Yeah. In so if you I was if you correctly. Your friend, your so it's it's. Who, who spoke Arabic, yeah. right? and I showed both passages to him, yeah. and he agreed that both passages are translated correctly as aorta. Yeah, but the word the word is different yeah, in the hadith. Showed me. I wish I was filming okay. that one. <laughs> anyway, look, even if they were translated as yeah, aorta. Yeah. So what is, what, what is the Quran? Quran, 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 Quran yeah. Lane's lexicon also translates both words as aorta. Yeah. And additionally, the Lushan Khan translation of the Quran, which is the Quran that I've got with me, uh, he, uh, his uh, Quran is approved of by the University of Medina. He's also a medical professional. Uh, he uh, works for the Ministry of Health in Saudi Arabia. He translates the hadiths as well as aorta. Okay. So, so that seems pretty clear. What does the Quran say again? Do you remember? Uh, it says that um, if he had fabricated something about us, referring to Allah, yeah. then God would have taken a hold of him and cut his aorta. Okay. And yeah. and what is the what is the meaning of that? That if if he fabricates something that Allah did not reveal to him, or something that Allah revealed to him and he changes it, yeah. that's fabricating it. Yeah. So the question would be first and foremost, what did he fabricate? Well, well, I could say anything. Right? So the very people that you who wrote the hadith, yeah. did they ever say he fabricated anything? No, they didn't. No. Good. So that is the first and foremost thing. Secondly, yeah. if Allah wanted to punish him, yes, yeah. it wouldn't be after three to four years because yeah. that's when he actually died. Okay. Well, is that in the hadith? Because I didn't. Yeah, know that. that is. So on his, in his in his seerah, listen, in the seerah of the Prophet Which Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the seerah of uh, even for of uh, Ibn, Ibn Ishaq or the seerah just later on. His, the term, the term, I don't know the exact reference. Do you, so if you look up the time he died and the time in Khyber when he was poisoned, yeah. yes, you will see the difference okay, because so the Khyber is a very, let's very, say, let's, let's say it's a very uh, specific, long, it's, it's, it's a very specific uh, time when it happened. Yeah. Okay, so this Jewish woman who actually invited them uh, to eat from this lamb, in yeah. fact. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. First and foremost, he actually, when he ate it, he afterwards he removed it okay. because he was instructed by Allah at that time that it was poison. Listen, listen to the important thing. There were no, there were other person. Uh, there was another person, another Sahabi, who ate the poison, who, uh, the poison lamb, along with him, and he died immediately okay. or within that day. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. So Allah protected him from that. And that is a sign. No, no, that is a sign. Yeah. The sign is this, that the lamb uh, itself... Can you, so can you cite Ibn Ishaq? I can't cite, but you can look it up. Okay, well, I mean, uh, you know, like, how am I supposed to take it on look my friend, right here? Look, my friend, if you don't believe me, you can always go and come back. Okay? Yeah, I mean, you, people in the video aren't going to bother to look it up. Right? No, <laughs> oh, they will actually. You'll, you'll be surprised. To, to look it up. You'll be surprised. Many will oh, give okay. you the references yeah. even if I mean, you want. It may be there. It may not okay. be. I haven't read The it. important thing is that he was saved from the poison in a way that he did not die immediately. If that's true. If that, well, he didn't die immediately. That's true, right? Well, he didn't die immediately, but poison can take, you know, a few days, weeks, whatever. Well, Years? I don't know. See, see, it seems very Wait, unlikely. If you were an expert in poisons, then you will, you will know, you will know that if one person ate and he died. So let me finish, my friend. Let me finish. Yeah. Okay, calm down. If one person ate the poison yeah. and he died immediately, and the other person, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, did not die immediately, what does it tell you? That he has a better immune well, system? Assuming the story is true. Which right? story? The story that. Also, oh, you haven't checked the background of this. 
Well, no, I know the hadiths are there, but I don't know. No, no, did you not? Did, did, did I mean, you not even look at the context? We don't have the original hadiths. They're, hold on, hold on. Did you not even look at the context of the story? Yeah, yeah of course I did. Yeah. So you the said it. So you. Poison. So you're saying provided is true, which means you don't know about it. I, I think you're misunderstanding. Know, what I'm trying to say is that, assuming the whole narrative is true, right? The entire narrative. So which part do you believe is true? Well, I, I don't know if anything in the hadiths are true, right? Because then why bring it up then? Well, because it just Why bring up something that's not true? That the very manner in which Muhammad said he would die if he was fabricated the Quran actually took place. His aorta was cut. By yeah, but you seem, to, very, you, seem you seem to, you seem to have capitalized. Listen, listen. Yeah. You seem to have capitalized only on that part. You, you have completely ignored the context behind that. No, I haven't. No, you are, because when I asked you, do you know the context? The hadiths don't say anything about Okay, how was he saved? When you read Sahih Bukhari. Listen, listen. Right? How was he saved? How was he saved from the poisoning? About years, listen, how was he saved from the poisoning? He wasn't saved. He was, because the, the actual lamb itself, yes, warned him that this is poisoned and he spat it out. Yeah, but he was still poisoned and he died. He died with that. He died with that. He said, Aisha, after how many years? Yeah, well, if you're gonna if you're gonna cite Ibn Ishaq, right, then you've got a problem because even you think Ibn Ishaq's uh, um, record is very weak. No, no, no. I didn't say. It. Hold on. You would agree. Hold on. Before you make before you make claims, allow me to answer because you're putting words in my mouth. I never said Ibn Ishaq is wrong. Many many of the many of the narration. I think he's good. Can you finish? Let me finish. Yeah. If you want an answer, then you should let me finish. Of course, yeah. Good. All of Ibn Ishaq is not wrong. There are many narrations. You're doing it again. You're doing it again. So if you want an answer, is wrong. Is right. no, but in a debate, you let a person finish okay, before you interject. Right. Yeah, and on. you have done it many times now. We've both done it. No, no, you have done it. I, I told you, let me finish, because you asked me the question. Okay, so not all of Ibn Ishaq is wrong. There are many narrations in there which are daif and which are fabricated as well. And which are from the Israelites, which we cannot confirm. Okay, they were Jewish converts. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. I haven't finished. Well, Israelites are Jewish. Yeah, I know, but, there, but you need to also make it clear to the audience. I'm talking about the Sira. Listen, Islam. listen, I'm talking about the Sira. Not yeah. all of Ibn Ishaq, just the Sira. The Sira is basically the biography of the Prophet yeah. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay? Now, listen to this. One of the Sahabis died immediately by the same poison. Okay. Yes? Well, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Where is that one again? It's, it's in the hadith, the same, the same hadith which okay. you're quoting. And, and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he finished his mission, his mission was what? To bring the message of Allah, the Quran, to the people. One of the last ayahs is Today we have completed the deen. The, uh, uh, the, the deen. When did he say that? It's in the Quran. This is an ayah in the Quran. Is it, when, when was it before he died, obviously. Yeah, just before he, he was dying. On the no, no, not just before he died. Don't, don't say if you don't know. So, so, okay. So this was one of the last ayahs which was revealed to him. Okay. And the important thing is this. The whole purpose of God punishing someone by cutting off the iota is those people who would fabricate what is those sorry, those prophets who would fabricate, yes, and those who would misinform people of the message which Allah has revealed to him. Yes. Now, the same the same hadith, the same Ibn Ishaq, all of this, did anyone say that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu fabricated the message of Allah? Okay, so now you have a time to, to speak. Respond to, to yeah. what you're saying. So you, you referenced that he didn't die immediately. Yeah, uh, he, he didn't. died a number of years, and you, you three to four years. You, yeah, you made reference to Ibn Ishaq. Right? Yeah, I'm um, saying the Sira. Without, the Ibn without Ibn anything specific from Ibn Ishaq, you just said. From you Ibn can Ibn check it out. You said you know the context, now, so I'm assuming you now, must have I, done your homework. I haven't read that one in Ibn Ishaq. Okay. I said that um, so my argument is this: is that if I was to bring Ibn Ishaq up in other situations, in other debates, you would immediately say, "Well, Ibn Ishaq is, is weak. We don't necessarily." follow everything Ibn Ishaq says. So, no, no, before you say what I say, on, ask me. You're interrupting me. Yeah, but ask me. You're making claims about okay. me. W would you? Would okay, you? good. That's a good question. I'll answer you. In fact, I've already answered you, but you were not listening, perhaps. Yeah, I did. But I'll repeat myself. Everything, listen, everything in the hadith, whether it is whether it is Ibn Ishaq or any other hadith, yes, the ulamas have already noted as if it's authentic. They have categorized it as authentic. Whether it's weak, whether it's da'if, which is weak, whether it's fabricated, which okay, is so maudu. It? Of course it's been categorized. Because everything's everything's been categorized. Everything. Right. So this is not something which so we lay, which we lay man. Where can the average person find the hadiths, uh, sorry, the parts of Ibn Ishaq that you claim are authentic, where can we find the categorization for that and the evidence for that categorization? From the scholars. What, any imam? So it's, it's not any imam. Seems, no, no, not, not any, not any imam. Wait, wait, before you make claims, allow me to finish. Okay. I just said, I said a scholar, will bring, a scholar, will be wrong, you know, you, will there, are, there are many websites, for example, right. sunnah.com. If you that's look at every hadith, yeah, you've been to sunnah.com, yeah. look at the bottom of that. 
It tells you whether it's weak, naive, or whether it's authentic. Tell and you this is the reason why they, they think it's weak and strong. Because I would have this thought that the reason was, like, for example, so they give you the Bukhari, reason. They give you the Bukhari reason. He went and he investigated, you know, where they were, yeah. you know, uh, whether their family members lived in that area, whether they knew those persons, and etc. And he yeah. went through this. Category. So in the science of hadith, in the science so of hadith, this, yeah, in the that? in the science of hadith, where they, where they, I don't know exactly who did it, but you can find out. Look, you're asking me questions as if I know every every answer. I don't. If I don't, I'll say I don't know. Okay. Is that a fair yes, answer? Fair, but Good. No, now, if you were really, out. listen, listen. This if you were really fair. sincerely yeah, looking for, sincere. sincerely yeah. looking for Aisha, the answer, then Aisha, you would have yeah. known who Aisha died during Aisha. that poisoning, how was Prophet Muhammad yeah. saved during that poisoning, yeah. how, at the, how he was we able know, to, we know these things, wait, wait, huh? how he was able to complete his mission, yeah. and how, how after three or four years after the poisoning that he finally died and even if he died let's say on, hold on hold on hold on you're, you're saying it three or four years after he died he's we know we know the time of Khyber no, no, and we know the time of his death yeah but okay all right we, but you got that from Ibn Ishaq no I didn't say I got everything from Ibn Ishaq we know that the Prophet Sallallahu passed away you've, you're not certain on the basis on which that part of Ibn Ishaq no we is, know we know when Khyber happened not, right? we know when the Prophet so, Sallallahu died so based on those two dates why we know the Khyber incident Based on, the, you know based on the hadith and based on the historians like Ibn okay. Ishaq and so on. So, so even when you, you, you're claiming you're based on Ibn Ishaq, I think that's probably your better source. Okay, when do you think Prophet Muhammad died? Do you know the date? I think it's 610, 610 AD. No, that wasn't the date. I'm pretty sure. What no, it wasn't. 610, you... No, it wasn't. Yeah, this is, it wasn't 610. 610. 610 is when the Quran yeah. was revealed. Uh, I think, okay. Yeah, go and look it up. Because okay. he, he was born in 570 and he died in 632. Oh, okay, right. Okay? Yeah, right, yeah. All right, so at least know when he died. Yeah. And then when did the incident of Khyber happen? Well, yeah, find I'm that out. Google it, yeah. go on. Yeah. 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 So that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, very easy. You don't, need, you, gonna, you don't need to You're, you're going to go by nitpick. Ibn Ishaq or by a hadith. You've not specified any hadith. So how would you know the or incident if you don't know by the historians? Ibn Ishaq was a historian. Do you yeah, know I've that? I've read Ibn Ishaq. Yeah. Good. So when did the Khyber incident happen? Well, according to Ibn Ishaq, like you said, it might be a number of years. I'm not familiar. No, no. That familiar okay, so you haven't looked into it. I'm not that okay, so go and look into it and then say if I'm right or wrong. How about okay. that? But right. from what I've read, because this is an, uh, this is a question which has been asked so many times at yeah. Speaker's Corner, yes, and we have looked into it. Yeah. And based on many of the scholars, they have said there's at least three to four years after that incident okay. until when say, Prophet Muhammad said. Let's just say it's three or four years. Let's yeah. just say it's three or four years. Yeah. Right? Uh, just for sake so, of what is your main argument here? Yeah? You, you're still, still capitalizing on the yeah. fact that. Oh, Allah revealed these words that if he fabricates it, then he'll, his yeah. aorta will be cut off. That's but right. then you completely ignore all the things, uh, all the context around okay. it. Let's say all that's true. Let's say it was a number of years. Yeah. Let's say um, uh, he, he was survived for those certain amount of years. His mission was complete. That that's a key him. point, bro. And let's say before he died, he said, my mission was complete. Right? He didn't say Allah said. From, Allah from said in the Quran. From an point of view, yes. who... Really, there's no evidence that, you know, Sahih Bukhari is true. We don't have a very early copies of it. Ibn Ishaq, is, we don't have early copies. The very hadith of that you're quoting right? is from there. Yeah, I know that, but, but it just... <laughs> so if you're going to say that's untrue, then, you let me talk, then your, objective is, you your objection talk, is also untrue. You're going to be talking, yeah, you know, we're both cutting each other off, yeah. right? So it just seems to me far too much of a coincidence. Even granting everything you've said, it just seems to me, and, and really this was, it was a private conversation between me and this other fella. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't meant to be this, but it turned into it, and that's fine. But it just seems to me far too much of a coincidence that he died with his aorta being cut. His aorta wasn't cut, according right. to the hadith. The Boy, term in Arabic is not aorta. aorta. Hold on, hold on. The term in the Arabic is not aorta, as the one that's used no, in the Quran. No, friend told me both are aorta. Go and ask a scholar. Go and ask a scholar, and they'll tell you that the term, the term that is used in the Quran. They're different words. I know that. So, but wait, wait. Why is it different words? They both. But why is it different words? Both of them are only used once in the Quran, and once in the Hadith. Right now, Mushan Khan is his translation of the yeah, Quran. Yeah, I've already heard you say that. Yeah, he was yeah, a doctor and he was... you brought the same point up, so I'm responding... No, but your point, your, you completely you ignored what I just said up. to you. you his mission was complete. Up. Yeah, you That's the important bit. That because the whole words. idea I'm saying is that Allah complete. will not let you finish so, your mission so, if you, you are indeed respond. someone who fabricates Allah's revelation. So and none of the hadiths, yeah. none of the hadiths, Let's, none of the very people that you're quoting yeah. ever said that Muhammad fabricated yeah. any okay. hadith. Okay? okay? And you know what? You know what? There's one last important point which yeah, you're missing is this. Complete. Do you know something? Yeah, yeah, sure. The important, the last important point which I want to point out is this. Let's say for the sake of argument, 
that he was indeed martyred using the poison. Okay. He was martyred. That he was killed. Martyr, you know, being a martyr means like you're killed. When somebody kills you, even in a war or even martyr means witness. No, no, no. Martyr. You're, when you're martyred. You're saying martyr. Martyr. Yeah. When you when you when you are. Um, um, when you go, when you actually fight in the fight cause in of jihad, Allah, jihad. yes. Oh yeah, you're talking about an Islamic view of martyr is somebody. Yes. Yeah, okay. So when you are shaheed, the term shaheed is that shahada. They have got the highest rank in in the paradise. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. What do you mean that's fine? Wait. So if Muhammad died as a, as, as yeah. someone who's a shaheed, yeah. then his his maqam is already right. the highest. All right, great. So that, that's your point. So I'll, in I'll either way, he was saved from the poison. He was he yeah. lived until he completed his mission. Yeah. Even if you say that he died based on the poison, that he still got the the okay. status of a shaheed. So can I respond to that? It's a win-win in, in every case. Can I respond yeah, to that? sure you can. So my response to that is this: is that as I was saying to my friend, you could mount a good argument that he didn't die exactly the way that that Quranic passage said he would die. Because yeah. really he that Quranic passage said he would pretty much die on the spot, right? And I said to him privately that I agreed with that. Good. Right. But my point is this: is that from someone as an outsider looking in. We know that the two words are the same. I just want to make that point. Because not the same. They are not the same. So they mean the same thing, right? Well, to to a person. Yeah, I'm going to close. Because yeah. you made your point. They're different. Well, You're going back. based on somebody who's not a scholar. Okay, Mushin Khan translate his translation of the Quran was approved of by the University of Medina. He translates the hadiths as well. Which right? hadith did he translate? Also, Hay Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. All the English translations are his. No, there are many people who translate the hadith. Well, the not only Mosin Khan. It I've wasn't Mosin Khan. Right? In yeah. fact, today well, the most. Mosin... Copy of done by him. It he says exactly. Yeah. What no, no, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying and he did not. I'm saying there are yeah. many others who and, have translated. Okay, it. so the copy I've got is is translated by him. And on top okay, of that, okay, bring the hadith up. Let's on, look at the hadith. And on top of that, I just want to finish my point. So yeah, sure. That, he was a medical professional. Doesn't matter. Right? He knows what an aorta is. He doesn't know poison works every time. He doesn't know which kind of poison it was. He worked for the Ministry of Health. It doesn't matter. He was a professional. He was a surgeon. Doesn't matter. Well, so he knew what the aorta was. Is he a professional in in how poisons work? He was. He did his medical profession. But that doesn't he mean. Look, listen, listen. Just because. Listen, just so because somebody has got an MD degree. Forget even um, MBBS. If he's got, oh, if man. he's got a. No, no. Hear me out. Just because somebody's got a medical. I just want to close my argument and then we can move on. To no, the but you need topic. to understand the right? the point. You've said this. The already. point you have raised that he was a surgeon yeah. doesn't make him an expert in every field in medicine. No, but it means he knows what the aorta is. Yeah. Right? I didn't say that. He knows what the aorta is. Did you even listen when to the question? Even, did you even I know. Did you listen translates. to the question I asked you? Is he an expert? Is he, is he an expert? Is he an expert in poison? Okay. Let's is say he an expert not. in poison? It's irrelevant. That's the main he's point. Got the certificate, That's the main bro. point. It wasn't just aorta. <laughs> it was how he died so he d yeah. based on the poison. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, okay. I just he only has a specific argument. knowledge, so and he was given a certificate to say that he's not a doctor. Even that would be the diploma. I'm not a doctor. You're just repeating what I know. And I'm happy to accept that. But as a Christian, my only point to this gentleman was that it just seems far too much of a coincidence. You know, you have. You repeated this from the, the very, very beginning, and you keep repeating even after I've answered would die everything. If he was fabricating the crime. But the reason why I'm repeating it. And I asked you which bit did he yeah, fabricate? You have no answer. I'm repeating it, my friend. It's yeah. because that was the only point that I was trying to Maybe make. Maybe I can't convince you. That was the only point that's that I was fine. trying that's to make fine. to him. But if you want to argue technically this and that, I'll accept that. It's not accepted it's, that. It's not, these are all the point rational points. With the, even started. My friend, my these are all point, rational points which the scholars point have discussed. Was that it just seems far too much of a coincidence that he died that way. So that, that's really the only point I was trying to make. Do you think that might be due okay. to your lack of knowledge of the hadith? I mean, your, your view there. Might be due. I think I can't say it. Well, yeah, but the fact of the matter is, you stated a little while ago that you didn't even know the difference between da'if, you know, the weakness of the hadith. Did you know about the scientists yeah, of the hadith? I, I know those things, yeah. But a moment ago, you I said on camera that you weren't sure of those. Like, for example, Ibn yeah. Azab, that not all of them do we take them as da'if. There are yeah, some da'if and some I are not. Agree. I but told him that. I know, yeah. no, no, no. A while ago on camera, I told you said him even the reason why. Let, let me just finish. Because some of them you were unaware. Sorry, yeah, yeah, but you were unaware that some of Ibn Azab is accepted. Is that right? Yeah, I am aware. Yeah, but it, you were me, unaware. It seems like a little a, while ago, you stated I was unaware yeah, that you accepted course, some of, of it. Of course, I accept that. That of course I've always known oh, okay. that. Well, a little while ago on yeah. camera, you said, "Oh, I was unaware that you accept some yeah, of it." It's and very you hard because deny some of it because he was talking over me so much. It's very hard to get. Well, vice versa, my friend. I think you yeah. both were talking over each other. Yeah, I had to remind you as well. Don't forget. Yeah, yeah, we both did. I think yeah, it's I lack of knowledge, my friend. That's what it was. Hopefully, you cleared it up. Right, All right, okay, so now you got your Bible question, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just clarify one thing about What's the What's your name, by the way? Hashim. Hashim. What's yours? Okay, I'm Caleb. Caleb Cornelius, my name. Caleb, yeah. I'm I've seen you here a few times. Do you come on visit here or you live around? It's the first time. Oh, I've been, I, oh you've I been did, here before. I did come here once uh, as a 